Hello, boys and girls, men and women of all ages, shapes, and sizes. My name is Owen Adams, also known as British Gamer, and this is a Similo. Or Similo. Or Similo, or Similo. I have no idea how it's pronounced, but it's called Similo. This is a free to play game on the iOS store. Let's check it out. I will pop a link in the video description below if you want to uh, explore for yourself. Hearts love to be connected. Try it. Makes sense. Oh, this game's easier than I thought. <laughs> now try connecting similar shapes together. Beautiful. Different sizes of the same shape can connect together. Makes sense. It's always better to do long lines. Simple principles, taking the time here. Oh, it's William Shakespeare. You are now ready to start. Thank you, Shakespeare. Let's see what we can do. April 1st, 2016. That ain't the date. Oh, I see, so it's kind of like a... Like a bejeweled type game, except instead of a grid, we have sort of a physics based. Huh. Oh, I saw. Three stars. Epic win. Thank you very much. Well, let's try this out. I see. There's a calendar coming up to the present day. Does that mean they add levels? Ah. Okay, so we have a calendar here. Let's go back to April. Let's try level two. April 2nd. Or, if you're in Britain like me, the 2nd of April. Complete in 40 moves. Okay, I could try that. Long lines are the best it said, so let's see how long we can make these particular lines. Let's save the hearts for a little bit, and then we can maybe make ourselves a very long heart line like this. There we go. And we've got enough hearts there. Oh, there we go, we've done. That was easy. Obviously, it's just introducing you to the concepts right now. Oh no, I like this game. This is quite a twist on the whole falling blocks match colors thing. It's a little bit different. I do like that. It says remove ads here, but I uh, haven't seen any yet, so whatever ads are in here aren't that intrusive, which is always good. Complete in 40 moves. Ah, here we go, there we go, there's our first one. There's finding opportunity, and there's opportunity finding you. Spot trends and trades. Bye-bye. Fair enough, I've said before many times, ads in free-to-play games don't really bother me. Paid games, they really do bother me, but free-to-play games. It's all part of the uh, business, particularly when they actually let you pay to remove the ads. It seems to me to be quite a good compromise. They give you a fair amount of moves because they know you're going to need them. The question is, how's that going to affect the difficulty in the long run? And do the big shapes count for more than one, I wonder? Ah, you can match those with any color. And they go up. They fall up instead of falling down. Good to know. Ah, and you can actually use them to link different colors, so... If we go blue around here, then link onto the yellow. Nice. I like that. That's a clever mechanic. I'm enjoying this game quite a bit so far. It's very different, very unusual. Um, solid, strong mechanics, well made. Very nice. Okay, we have William Shakespeare on this next little bit of the board, so let's see what that means. Meet Will, complete in 40 moves. I will, I will meet Will. Why not meet Will? 
you know you want to. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okie dokie. Now. We only need the crowns. So I don't know, but I have a suspicion collecting the skeletons would be bad. Well, actually, we have a... A linking mechanism there. Let's go with the crowns for now. Let's try taking the skeletons out, see if it causes me any problems. Uh, nope, up there. And then we can actually get rid of the damn things a little bit. Oh, there we go. It hasn't done me any harm. So let's try and make as long a line as possible. 31. Good, good. skulls for a bit. We still have 40 moves, so hopefully this will be enough to properly plan a course of action. I just get rid of all the skulls first, as many as I can. And then... Sixty-five we're up to. This can work out pretty well, I'd say. Oh, no, don't do that. It's unnecessary. That's what I should be doing, though, using mo some more of the color linkers to, uh, to get some more of these down here. Get rid of a little bit of extra stuff. Mind you, we're nearly done now. Presumably this is going to be what I need to do to meet Will. Want to meet you, Will? Hey, we did it. A beautiful. I do like a job well done. Okay. Thank you very much. We met Will. All right. Now, before I move on, let's just see what else is lurking in the options here. Similar would like to answer, access the microphone. Uh, not right now. I think. Star purchases, credits, high scores, achievements. We've got achievements that'll load uh, my game set up, so I'll leave that off for a second. Uh, nope. Don't go away. Sound music, face cam. Huh, I wonder what that's for. Okay, fair enough. Let's stick with the puzzles then. Come on, April. Keep giving me your beautiful puzzles. I guess what I'm so impressed with with this game at the moment is it's actually not often you find a new type of puzzle game, you know? I mean, this is, I mean, it's, it's I don't want to say derivative in a bad sense, it's obviously influenced by match three type games. Um, and yet it's such an original take on it uh, to do it with physics. And to do it well with physics, because I could see it done with physics, but then with a poor implementation, this takes the physics and it makes it its own game in a really special way, actually. Oh, there we go. Marvelous. I continue to be wonderful. <laughs> okay. Well, let's meet... Our next friend, Avi. Meet Avi. So I see Avi and Will's levels have their own shapes, then, that you don't get on the other ones. Ah, oh, no skulls on this one, though, so, okay. We don't have any linking shapes yet, either. Now, what I like to do with games like this is, if possible, stick to one color at a time for a little bit, and then what it does 
is it will often leave you with a much more successful run of other colors later on rather than trying to vary it. So now we should have a really uh, oh, go back back for that. We should have a really strong. line on the reds there. Stick with reds for a little bit. Do I yellows? A little flight wings, because she's an aviator, obviously. And now propellers. Now we get to see if the big ones are different. I don't think they are. Oh, there we go, done! Hurrah! Paying so much attention to sort of processing the mechanics, I'm not really, uh, following my own progress. Alright, I think I'll make this the, uh... I can recommend this, though. I like a good scenarios puzzle game. Oh, oh we've got some different mechanics now. Interesting. Can't seem to pass that. Alright, let's try one more. We're on a new line now, I see, so it's introduced something a little bit new. Let's see if this is gonna. Ah, now we're introducing more shapes that are gonna be kind of obstacles. That makes sense as a variety. Particularly in physics, in a physics based puzzler. Kinda want that. I know games like uh, Frozen Freefall have tried to introduce clever obstacles into a non-sort of physics-based Bejeweled clone. I realize this is nothing like Bejeweled, but... You know what I mean? And it doesn't work for that game at all. But with the physics... Let's see, here we go. Let's try and use one of these... color linkers. There we go, done in one. Alright, well I'm happy. Uh, this is Similo. Uh, it's quite a fun game. Um, very different, but familiar. Very clever. I would really recommend checking it out, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm going to go now. My name is Owen Adams, also known as British Gamer. As usual, you can check the video description below for all the information on how to get in touch, how to support the channel, and more. And I'll see you next time. Uh, when I stop my livestream, which shouldn't be too long from now. Um, bye-bye!